You're watching the Fox 13 4 o'clock news. Dogs and cats are great. But what about adding a pocket pet or smaller animal to your family? SPCA Tampa Bay has more than 100 rabbits, hamsters, guinea pigs, birds, even livestock looking for forever homes, and they're waiving adoption fees for most of them. Yes, we're talking about pigs, too. Look at this little pool. Well, joining us now is Kristen Davis with the SPCA Tampa Bay. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Tell us who you brought, and boy, uh, <laughs> This little guy likes to be held. <laughs> yeah, so this is Ron the rabbit. Mm -hmm. He's five years old and he's very sweet. Uh, rabbits do live to be about seven, so he's in kind of the senior rabbit category. But he's Aww. very sweet and very social and definitely looking for his forever family. We were talking about it's like a newborn. As it long is. as he's being snuggled, he's yes. good, right? Yes. <laughs> so tell us about the pocket pet program. Yeah, so right now all of our pocket pets can be adopted at no fee, and that's through mm -hmm. the end of August. Uh, we do have over 100 pocket pets right now, which are, as you said, rabbits, guinea pigs. We have livestock as well, so chickens and actual livestock type pigs so um yeah it's really um just we're trying to get them into homes and mm -hmm. out of the shelter that's really the goal so if someone has not cared for a smaller pet before what what do you think they need to know so we do have adoption counselors on hand so we do recommend when we have these promotions sometimes people can come in and not realize that it's a lifetime commitment so rabbits live to be seven guinea pigs live to be five so when you come in just know that they're going to be a part of your family for a long time so we do support Supply them with all of the information that they need to be able to care for them properly if they've never had a small animal before. Let's talk about the pigs we saw earlier yes. because um, pot belly pigs, right? Yes. But they're, they're, they look pretty big to me. Like they need to be outdoors? Correct, yes. Okay. So we have seven pigs. They're all six years old and they've been living outside their whole lives. So they're not the kind of pigs that you would bring into your home. Um, they do, we do have some asks. We're hoping that they'll find a big property. Um, we're hoping that someone will either adopt all seven of them together or adopt them out in pairs. Um, they are not very socialized, so we're trying to kind of spend some time with them um, with the staff to get them a little bit more familiar with people, but really just looking for a big property where they can roam and Do live out thing. the rest of their lives. Yeah, they <laughs> right. love the pool, they love to splash around, so yeah, we're hoping to find the, the right family, and it is no fee to adopt the pigs as well. So we want to tell everyone to mark their calendar, right? Because yes. uh, Clear the Shelters is an event that's coming up on August 26th. Tell us about that. Yeah, so Clear the Shelters, all animals, dogs, cats, pocket pets, everyone will be available one day only at no fee. And that's one day a year we do this to really try to get every animal that's in the shelter adopted. So with that, um, we do open early that day. We open at 10 a.m., and we do like people to know that it will be extended wait times that day. Mm -hmm. uh, if you do have a dog at home, we do recommend that you bring the dog along so you can do an intro. If you're looking to adopt another dog and your whole family, kids, everyone, bring everyone along so we can make sure that everyone is the best it's compatible. Fit. Yes. <laughs> cats, cats don't care. They'll just go do their own thing. You don't need to bring a cat. <laughs> no, we only bring, if you have a dog at home, bring the dog, but no other species. Okay. <laughs> and can people check out, like we know about Ron, but is there a website where you have the animals pictures and maybe some information about them? we do so mm -hmm. spca tampa bay.org is our website and we do keep it updated in real time mm -hmm. so that day if you see them on the website it does mean they're available and the moment they're adopted they're removed so that's the best way to know who is still around that day and why are events like both of these so important yeah so right now our shelter is very full we're almost at capacity for pocket pets especially so these events really allow us to continue to be um, what we need to be you know have available space for the community we do work with transfer partners that well as well that reach out to us for for animal transfer so we need to be able to take in these these animals so that's that's why these events are so important so we can just Keep, keep them coming in and finding new homes. Great. Thank you, Kristen, so much. And listen, Ron has been really well-behaved the whole time, if you're interested in <laughs> yes, having a little rabbit. Yes, he's very sweet. All right, thanks, Chris.